What's going on YouTube? Earth Power here, CBH on camera. Hi guys. And uh, we're bringing you guys a little bit of a different segment this week. Um, we're going to try to keep bringing you guys at least like a Duel Masters video once a week. And what we have for you this week is the top 10 worst Duel Masters cards that came out of our 12 sets here in America. Um, they might not have been the worst cards when they got released, when with whatever set they got released in, but as of set 12, they're definitely the 12 worst cards, if not. I mean, pretty there might horrible. be some other There's ones. There's only 10 cards, Carl. Yeah, they're pretty bad. Carl. So we're, we're getting into Carl. the top 10 here. It's only 10 cards. You said 12 cards. Top 10, 12 sets. I don't know. Right. Okay. Yeah, got it. All right, so we're going to go over the first one here, and it is Aqua Rider. Four mana, 2,000 power, water card. Came out of Stompatrons. It's a common... A liquid person, and its effect states that whenever your opponent summons a creature or casts a spell, this creature gets blocker until the end of the turn. Now, see, that would be super cool if we didn't already have a card called Aqua Shooter, which is the same thing, but it already has blocker. So, and it came out earlier by like six, came, yeah, five, four sets, a number of sets, Evo. guys. <laughs> and it came out in Evo, yes. Yeah. So, I mean. The only benefit I could see to this guy is... If you're attacking a shield and it's Calm Missile and it doesn't have Blogger before Calm Missile triggers. But to my knowledge, if they cast Comet Missile, I guess it would be after they cast it, it would count as casting, so I don't really know. So, I, I don't mean, know. They, I guess they couldn't cast a Comet Missile on it or Critical Blade it, but who cares? It sucks. Yeah, there's just better cards at that point, yeah. and you have Aqua Shooter if you really want a Blocker or something. That, I, I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. So that's so, the 10th card. So, number 10. Can you imagine still, there's 9 worse cards than that, Carl? Right. <laughs> it happened. And we're gonna get into the next one. And it's a rare. Number no, 9. No, it's not. It's an uncommon. Number 9 I don't is know. An uncommon. It is Unified Resistance, 2 mana. Came out of Fatal Brood, if I'm not mistaken. Shield trigger, and it says, choose a race. Until the start of your next turn, each of your creatures in the battle zone of that race gets a blocker. Now, that would be fantastic if we didn't already have a card called Full Defensor. Which I will find. Which came out earlier, just like the Aqua Rider, Aqua Shooter comparison. Good God, let Full me Full Defensor is a shield trigger that just gives all of your creatures a blocker until the start of your next turn. Two yeah. minutes, same mana, it's... it's I mean, unless you need eight cards to give your creatures blockers, that would be the only reason I could ever see you running Unified Resistance. It's decent and sealed, I guess. I don't, but not really. Not even really. So nope. So just a bad card. Like there's just no place for this because it has a better equivalent in every way, shape, and form. <sighs> Number eight. Let me say really fast. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So number eight is a darkness card, Eldritch Poison, one mana, uncommon, came out of stop no rampage, out of, rampage of the gigantic something Super like Warriors. Super Warriors. Okay, don't know my set names. Super Warriors, Carl. Super Warriors. So shield trigger. It says you may destroy one of your darkness creatures. If you do, return a creature from your mana zone to your hand. Now that just has way too many like restrictions on it. You have to destroy one of your creatures, one of your darkness creatures. It has to be a darkness creature, otherwise you can't continue with the effect. And then it says you have to get a creature. You can't get anything from your mana zone. It has to be a creature. But Salt. it's only one mana coil. And, and it's only yeah. So think of the combos. If you combo with Propeller Mutant, you can destroy the creature, discard a card, get Propeller Mutant back with Jack Viper on the field because that's a thing, and then get like. Daedalus from your mana zone or something. I'm pretty sure Propeller Mutant doesn't work with Jack Viper, if I'm not mistaken. Why not? it never hits the graveyard. Yeah. Instead of going to the graveyard, it goes to your hand. It doesn't say that. It says when it's destroyed. No, Jack Viper says instead of whenever one of your creatures would be destroyed, instead of it going to the graveyard, it wouldn't go to your oh, hand. Oh, instead of being destroyed? Yeah. Well, oh. When it gets destroyed, instead of hitting your graveyard, and Propeller Mutant says when it is destroyed and sent to the graveyard. Yeah, hold so, the camera, Carl. That's a thing. Uh oh. All right, guys. We're taking an intermission from Eldritch Poison We're right now. We're still talking about Dual Masters, though, so yep. it's relevant. So it's still Dual Masters. Well, I mean, Answering some questions. When this creature is destroyed, your opponent discards a card from his hand. Jack Viper. Uh, God, please have rulings. Yeah, I'm Michael. This is why we love you. Why? What does this effect say? Like Jack Vibers? Yeah. Whenever one of your darker creatures would be put into your graveyard from the battle zone, you may return it to your hand instead. I think destruction is what happens, then it will be put because it's destroyed. But let me check the rulings on Propeller Mutant, which there is nothing on! Tears. 
So yeah, yeah. to my knowledge, though, I don't think you got Propelamine's effect. Well, we'll never know, so. and never probably care, because we play Kaijudo now. Yep. So, Eldritch Poison, I mean, Flood Valve is a thing, which was a two-mana water card that lets you get anything back from your mana zone. It's on the same spell, set, too. Trigger. So, I mean, Eldritch Poison it just has way too many restrictions for it to be any sort of playable. And, I mean, with Darkness, you I don't know why you'd want to destroy something to get something back from your mana. It's, a, it's just a minus one all the way around, so... Just not, not. Unless, of course, if it's Propel Mutant and Jack Viper and that actually works. Yeah. But, yeah. That's then, a bad deck, so... Anyways, Eldritch Poison. On to number seven. Excuse me. Is one of my more favorite cards for our top ten worst cards list is Terror Dragon Anger's Fall. Fun fact, it's a promo. Yep, came out of Fatal Brood. It's six mana, zero attack, plus. And it says this creature gets plus 2,000 power for each of your other nature creatures in the battle zone. And a creature with zero power or less is destroyed. But so while it has 6,000 or more, it has double breaker. Correct. Yay. So it's an earth dragon. Um, so, I mean, it can get Coca Lupia's effect. It can go down in mana cost. But you have to play with other nature dragons. And outside of, what what's his name, Terror Dragon? Regarion. Regarion. Not Regarion Doom. Just this dragon, is Regarion. Dual Masters. Yep. So it, that's really the only other decent nature dragon that you would be playing in a deck that would probably run Anger's Vow, which you never want to run Anger's Vow because there's just better options I at mean, that point. But you have to play it with other nature creatures on the board, and with most dragon decks, it's very hard to keep a big field, especially against other controls and stuff like that. So basically, if you drop him with zero power, he just dies immediately. I mean, it's okay. like You can say it lives with like Bronze Arm and like random stuff like that, yeah. but at the same time... Just play a better 6-drop dragon. It's not that hard to find exactly. a better one. Just, just so, come on. This is just not a great card. It came out as a promo, and... And no one wanted it. And no one wanted it, and I think that's why it sort of made our top 10 list here. It's a rare as well. So, I mean, you pulled this in your pack, and you're just is like... Is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. So, wow. I mean, it's just not, not a great card. You, you always wanted to see something else, and I have so many of these promos that it just made me sick, and I just didn't like having it. It's cool, though. It's a neat-looking card. I wish it had a better effect, but... Yeah. Yeah, number 7. On to number six. Ooh, Another darkness ooh. card. It's a common. Came out of, I believe this was Epic Dragons. One mana. It's a Parasite Worm. It's got 2,000 power. And you're thinking, like, yeah, one drop, 2,000 power. That's what's up. What's the catch? Well, the catch is when you put another creature into the battle zone, you destroy this guy. So good luck rushing with it. Because you're just going to drop a turn one and then drop something else next turn. And then. But Carl, what if I have six mana? I get to play Tyrant Worm, then evolve into Chaos Worm. Yeah. That's about the only benefit of that card, and it's so super situational. And there's so there's better parasite worms at that point, like better one mana parasite worms. No, but if you draw, yes. if you top deck this guy, and you're just like, yeah. Well, if I top deck him, I'm fine because I'm not gonna have another creature. Yeah, but then you're not gonna want to top deck something better next turn, and then it's just a waste of a card. I just run one tyrant worm and thirty nine spells in my deck. Do it. That's the only way this card is going to be any sort of decent. It's fine, I have ways to get it back. So, number six, Tyrant Worm. Not fantastic. Yeah. It's okay. It's good it's in that Tyrant Worm deck. Yep. With the one Tyrant Worm. Alright, coming in at number five is... They're, they're getting worse, guys. <laughs> Blaze Cannon. Seven mana, it's a rare out of Rampage. And it says you can cast a spell only if all the cards in your mana zone are fire. So, seven mana spell, all the cards in your mana zone have to be fire. That means you've had no draw power for seven turns. No so, mana, well, Volcano Charger, almost arguably. Almost no mana excel unless you Volcano Charger something. I mean, against any other deck, they're probably winning at that point. But if you've managed to keep a few creatures on the field... It says with a hand and some with, mana. With a hand and some mana, right? <laughs> Sounds legit. If all things have gone according to plan and you've managed to get off a Blaze Cannon, it says each of your creatures in the battle zone gets plus 4,000 power and double breaker. You should probably make sure your opponent's still breathing at that and, point. And, and, <laughs> wait, it's not even power, it's power attacker. So Holy God. Yeah, this is... For seven mana, it's just like... Wah. And all the cards in your mana zone have to be fire, so you run on a mono fire deck. I mean, it's just... There's better ways to run mono fire, like Rush. Like yeah, that's Valdeos is probably the only way to run mono fire. It's just not. You're not gonna get to seven mana and then be like, oh, should have held the blaze cannon. <laughs> it's like, it's just not a thing that's gonna happen. Oh man. And at that point, you probably lost if you're running mono yeah. fire. Seven turns later, you you're doing something wrong. So not fantastic, and it's a rare. So. Yeah, basically, if your opponent is breathing, that card will not. 
have much of an effect. <laughs> exactly, it's just not going well for you. All right, on to number four, CVH's least favorite card. Well, I think it's just awful. <laughs> Mystic Inscription, would you like to tell them about it? Is it another rare? It yeah, is a rare from a... Shadow Clash, a blinding knight. Well, I guess it was the first of its type to do this at Shadow Clash, but with new cards being released, it just is so bad. Um, it's like... a six mana nature spell that adds a top card predict to your shields face down. Um, well, let's just reference one of many things that make this card obsolete. Uh, Sky Sword. Obviously, you all know what this does is a creature, and you play it, and you get a shield from the top of your deck, and mana, and it's a body, and it evolves into two potent races. I mean, sure, you're not always going to run light, but also in light, you have things like Spear of Wonder and Sundrop Armor, and mm -hmm. even if you need it, that, that miraculous, the the one that adds a card, you know, you could... Miraculous, you know, it's, yeah. Even, you know, that's even much better. It's miraculous even, snare. Things yeah, like it's very... Versatile, and this is just yeah. inscriptions. Just not. Ugh. It's it's kind of like how in Kajudo right now we've got the race or the color pie kind of blending into each other. It's kind of what they tried to accomplish here. It's a one trick pony with a limp because there are exactly. other ponies that do it better. Exactly, it's so, just not yeah. fantastic. Like there's so many better cards you could be running at this point. Sphere of Wander, even. Sphere of Wander. Sphere of Wander. It's the wandering sphere. Oh, yeah. Carl, it wanders. <laughs> Words. So yeah, Mystic Inscription coming in at number four. Sphere of Wander. Sphere of Wander. All right, number three. Ugh. This card is awful, and it's actually the only multi suit card that we're not using in our DM cube right now. I have a story about this actually. Corby and I were building the cube, and he actually drafted this card Let's in our show first the card ever in cube. The, in the story. All right. It's a four mana light and water spell, uncommon. Came out of. I guess what was the it was the twelfth uh, set, right? No, the no. yeah, it was the twelfth set. I don't know what that's even called. Blast explosion? No, I think it was blast explosion. Yeah, Whatever yeah. set the uh, multi set spells came out of, it's oh, so it was the eleventh set. Excuse me, it might have been blast. Which means it was, I don't know. I, I don't can't know. remember. I don't know. Anyways, so four mana shield trigger. It says reveal the top four cards of your deck. Put one of them that has blocker into your hand, and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Now see that would be cool if you're running an all blocker deck. But that would be better if there wasn't already a card called Submarine Project. Which, ow, shit. God, oh, shit. oh, my elbow, you guys. Which we'll be getting to right now. Oh, God. Yes, we have a card called Submarine Project. And notice that it's just water, too. So oh, you don't even have to have the light part of it, too. Oh, so bad. <laughs> It'll get better. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, so it's three mana. It lets you look at the top four cards of your deck and take any card from them. <sighs> Oh, you gonna be alright, man? CBH <laughs> oh, hit his elbow, guys. And oh. he is dying. Hey, guys, this Search the Depths from Kaijudo is coming out in Evo Fury. Yep. It's so, still mediocre. So, Rise, like, Summary Project already didn't see play with Energy Stream and Hulkus and just better cards being a thing, better draw cards. And then Rise and Shine came out and it was just like, oh, wow, we can make this worse. Tack on an extra sieve and make it cost one more mana and give it a restriction. So yeah. the draft story, Gorby drafted in our first ever Kaijudo test, I mean, Duel Masters test draft, thought it did something else, thought it said any card, like Submarine Project, which would still be worse than Submarine Project. Reveal the top four, none of them were blockers, lost the game, and probably took it out of the cube. End story. Yep. And now it's the only multi sieve card that we're not running in our cube. Because it sucks. Because it's terrible. Yep. Coming in at number two. There's a worse card than Rise and Shine. Well, we have yeah. to see it. Oh my god. So, this card yeah. came out in base set. It was a rare, four mana, and it said each of your creatures in the battle zone gets power attacker plus 2,000 until the end of the turn. Now, this is just where I think... Like, I, I compare it to Kaijuda now. Like, they're, they're doing better with the cards that they're releasing. Like, they're making everything balanced. Like, everything is playable at yeah, this like point. Yeah, there are still better and worse cards, but yep. the, the gap and, is and they're mostly leaving, They're leaving lessened. a lot of room for more improvement lessened. than they did with Duel Masters. Like, Base Set gave us everything that we used pretty much the entire ride through. Whereas, like, in Kaijudo, we've got room for improvement. Like, the level 4 lower restrictions. Like, I think we're going to see bigger, better cards way in the future. But this card, Aura Blast, came out, and it was just like, okay, give everything plus 2,000 power attacker. That's cool. This game's very basic and base set. Cool. Plus 2,000 power. Well, come 10 sets later with, I think it was Epic Not Dragons. even 10 sets later. 8 sets later. Not and even. Maybe. Epic maybe you're right. I don't know. Epic Dragons came out, and I mean, I hit my elbow again. it gave us a card called Muscle Charger, which was 3 mana. It was a charger, which means it goes to your mana zone after you use it. 
and it gives all of your creatures plus 3,000? Yep, looks power. like... It's plus 3,000 power. Yeah. Until the end of the turn. So... So, yeah. So, yeah. And on a related note, it's even a lesser rarity. Yeah, and it's easier to get. So... Way to just completely phase this card out. In like, every way. In all ways possible. Like, there's just... There's just no room for Aura Blast. At all. Ever. So... That takes us through our top nine, or our top almost ten. Yeah, two, three, nine. Cards. Thank you, I didn't know yeah. nine was almost ten. Yep. We're getting... <laughs> Thank you, Mass <Master> Major. <laughs> our number one worst card in Duel Masters. I have such a fun story about this. We need a drum roll. Huh? I don't oh. know. Maybe we don't. Help me out, Carl. I only have one hand free. And it, it is... Scissor Eye. This card, it's pro well, it's more of a, there's a reason behind it being the worst card, not so much its effect or the fact that it's four mana for yeah, 3,000 base. Yeah, that effect that you see right there. Evo. The Shores of the Fire yeah. Territory turned blue as wave after wave of water creatures landed. Giant. Giant 3,000. Oh, if I saw that flopping around, I don't even know what I'd do. <laughs> flopping around. <laughs> so, the, the reason this is the worst card is because of all the, uh, trolling that this card has done over the course of DM. The first Duel Masters meme. Yep. So, and you, you want to tell them the story of uh, DM Realms way back when? I do. So. Well, I don't know if anyone remembered the old website, DM Realms. I was a member of it. Like, I was a member of it as well. Yeah. Torque on the Great, that's where my original username came from. If anyone remembers the downfall, it was when uh, a couple spammers had spammed the website with a bunch of things like yes. mostly just people running scissor eye. It was just a bunch of scissor yeah, eyes. Someone, I think someone originally created a, a control deck and put four scissor eyes in it. And immediately, like this being a big forum, like a couple of users online got on them and were just like, yeah, I like the deck. You should just take out the four scissor eyes. And the guy who posted the deck got really uppity about it really quick and was just like, no, why would I take these out? Why should I do that? No, that, it's like the best card in the deck. It revolves around it. Was that one just of the spammers being, or was it just It the... was one of the spammers. Okay, yeah. Just being completely trolly about it. And it turned into this like 800 page just flame war. The Number guys. one worst card in DM, Scissor Eye. If we ever make one of these for Kaijudo, King Nautilus is going to be the new Scissor Eye. <laughs> and I can show them my binder. I thought it was going to be Hydro Bunker. We'll have to fight over that. Because I'm pretty sure a deck of 40 King Nautilus is still loses to a deck of 40 Hydrobot Crabs. <laughs> if not, that even if you don't attack with a Hydrobot Crabs, if I try to attack, I want to deck out. <laughs> well, no, because then you could just swing. Yeah. Hydrobot Crab just wins. So it's better than King Nautilus. Yeah. So, YouTube, that is our top 10 worst cards in DM. Let's just see them again here. All laid out and stuff. So, it looks like nature's enjoyed. the worst sieve. <laughs> <laughs> the well, math has spoken. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Duel Masters content, more fun kind of video blogging. We might have some matches for you eventually. We might try to show you some cube matches. I've got a whole backlog of a cube draft that we did. God, Back when we were first creating the cube. Almost before, I think it was right before Kaijudo came out. So... I might try to get some Half of those matches ago. to you very soon. Just let me know. Check out the links below. The Literally all links. the videos of Duel Masters will be better than this. You cannot get a worse video than these 10 cards. <laughs> Literally the worst video. Indeed. So, we'll uh, check out the social links, the Twitter, the Facebook. Down check below. out CBH's articles at ARG. Leave a like. And, uh, leave comments on everything. Yes, leave a like. That's how we know and how, we find, how more people find us and all that fun stuff. So, I really appreciate it. So... Hopefully, guys, we'll see you next time. Peach.